Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a haul video. I will just get on and start it because I have quite a few things to share with you and I don't want this video to be too long. First thing I'm going to share with you is actually this which is a spray can. It's very random I know but I thought I'd share it with you anyway and it's just a copper, shiny copper colour. Basically it should look somewhat like the lid colour. This next thing I didn't actually buy but I thought I would share it with you anyway. It's my new glasses. Um, I wear contact lenses all the time and only in the evenings do I wear glasses but I thought I would share with you my new glasses from Specsavers. I'll put them on for you um, so you can see <laughs> what I look like with glasses on but yeah I just I get them for the evenings really when I want to watch TV and not have to sleep in my contact lenses because I've done that a few times where I've fallen asleep with contact lenses in which is not not a good thing. The next items that I'm going to show you are all beauty related so I'll do beauty first and then clothing items and stuff after. This product is so good okay if you have knotty hair or if you have children that have really knotty hair and they don't like having their hair brushed this is definitely a product that you need to have. I can't remember how much it was, I think it was around £12 in the sale. Actually, I think I've got the price list in front of me. £12.50, but I'm pretty sure I got that in the sale. It's the Original Sprout Worry-Free Luxury Miracle Detangler, and it definitely is like a miracle. My hair is so hard to brush sometimes because it's bleached. It's not damaged, it's not dry, but when it's wet it can be really hard to brush. So now that I use this, it is actually just, like I will never ever use anything else, I don't think, because this is so good. And it is 100% vegan as well, so if you don't like, you know, anything that has chemicals in it or whatnot, and or you are, you are vegan yourself, then you will probably really like this. So yeah, Original Sprout, and I'll keep saying well, I keep wanting to say spout. Original sprout and it's perfect. I got it from beautybay.com if you were wondering. I don't know if they sell it anywhere else. I've never even heard of this brand before until I looked for a detangling spray and I come across this. And yes, it's amazing. It's for babies and up as well, as it says. And according to the website, Angelina Jolie uses it on her kids. So <laughs> I don't know if that makes you want to buy it. It didn't make me want to buy it, but I thought I would share that with you anyway. I think it's like holy grail of detangling sprays. The next few products I'm going to show you are all from Boots. Um, the first thing is this. I finished my last one which was, well I spoke about it in my November favourites because this is by far my favourite deodorant. It's the Shaw Maximum Protection Stress Control and it's just the best deodorant I've ever used. And I know that sounds really weird but it really is. This is just the best. <laughs> and the next thing I'm going to share with you is this foundation. It is the Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation by L'Oreal. It's in the shade Rose Beige, which I think is like a good colour for me. Um, not perfect, but it's almost there. So, I mean, that's good enough for me because with foundations, I do struggle to find my actual shade. It definitely is matte, like... If you want a matte foundation, like this is the one. But I would say if you have dry skin, don't use it because I do get like dry skin around my nose, especially in the winter, just like on the edges. And it does show up your dry skin. So I do really have to make sure I exfoliate um, when I use this. But other than that, I do really like it. I like how the packaging is like a kind of squirty bottle. So you can kind of squirt out how much you want rather than squirt out. <laughs> that sounds weird. Um, you can just, you know, use as much product as you want or as little product as you want rather than the pumps that just sort of pump out a load of foundation that you might not need. The next two things are from Collection and it is these glitter gel pens. They are called Glam Crystals and they are pretty much a dupe, like a drugstore dupe of the Urban Decay, I think it's called Heavy Metal Liners and it's basically just a glittery eyeliner really. Um, I don't know if you can actually see that here 
but it's just a glitter eyeliner. That's all I can really say about that, really. And this one, the gold one is called Funk, and the silver one is called Glitz. And the last two things from Boots are these. Okay, they're both the same thing, so I'll just show you one. It's the mascara that I always use. I never, ever use any other mascara, as you will probably know if you are a subscriber of mine, especially for a long time, you'll know that that is the only mascara that I use. It's the Falsies mascara, and it's got the, the lace trim on the top. My ultimate favourite mascara, and I got two because it was buy one, get one half price. I went to Kiko again because they still have a sale on, and I think that is amazing, because not only are they already quite a reasonably priced brand, but their sales are amazing because I got an eyeshadow for £2.90, I believe, instead of £5.90, I think. It is just a grey matte eyeshadow. They are quite a big size as well. It's... what gram is it? Two grams. They are quite a good size. And it's just this grey matte shade. I think it's called Infinity. Yep, Infinity. And it is just so lovely. I'll swatch it for you as well. It's just a really nice grey colour. And I also picked up another lip liner. This one is the Smart Pencil, which I did also get some in my last haul. I'll leave a link below so you can have a look at that. And this is in the shade 710. Really, really nice dark burgundy wine colour. They are so creamy as well. Like, they are just... Oh, they are just such great lip liners. And considering they're, like, really cheap... I think they're about £2.50 and like that is just amazing because they are better than MAC lip liners I think in my opinion and a lot cheaper as well like a load cheaper. <laughs> so recently I've been on the hunt for a concealer and yet again I have not failed but not got what I wanted like 100% what I wanted because I can never ever find my shade. It's always too light or too warm. On camera right now and in probably most of my videos I look a bit lighter than I actually am in person because I have a box light behind me which is quite bright obviously. It's the Urban Decay uh, Weightless Concealer and it's in the shade Light Neutral so that's what it looks like. Nice packaging. So far I have tested it out and I'm wearing it today. I do really like it but again the only thing that I don't like about it is just the colour range. The next products that I got from Beauty Bay as well is these. These eyeshadows are from Makeup Geek and they are by far the best, best ever eyeshadows I've ever used. Like they are so good, they're so creamy, they're so pigmented. I absolutely love them and I'll go through all the shades that I've got. I did get two shades that are in my previous haul video so if you want to see that again it will be linked below but the shades i've got recently are creme brulee which is this one here again you'll see all swatches and makeup tutorials using these so you will see them um i just don't want to get them all out because it just takes so long um the next one is burlesque and it looks like this the next one is Peach Smoothie. I think everyone has this shade. If they have Makeup Geek eyeshadows, they always get this one. And it's great for like a transition colour. Ooh, my phone's going off. Um, and Frappe is the next one. I, seriously, I cannot wait to use these. I've been waiting because I wanted to show you it in a haul. But I also need to get another um, Z palette or Z palette. And... Yeah, so I can put them all nicely together and I can't wait to do that. Um, the next one is Vanilla Bean, which is just a creamy shade. And the next one is Vintage. Oh, I can't wait to use this one, it looks so good. And the last one I got so far is Bedrock, which is a grey colour, which I think will look really nice with my Kiko one. They're all £4.95 each, so really cheap and... Seriously, I can't stress enough how amazing these products are. They are just so pigmented, like, so, so pigmented. I will, like, show you in makeup tools, but oh my gosh, I can't believe. These are amazing. I can't believe I didn't have them before, like, seriously. 
you need to get these. If you like eyeshadows, you need to get these. I did go out and buy two makeup brushes, two more makeup brushes. I have a favourites makeup brush video and also um, makeup brushes for beginners as well video, which I will leave linked below so you can go check that out. But I did get some more Morphe brushes. This is the Morphe M135. It's just a big eyeshadow brush to pack on the colour. And I got the Morphe M505, which is just a tapered blending brush or crease brush. So that is all my beauty products. I'm now going to go will show you my clothes. The first thing that I'm going to show you from this is this bag. It is just so... Oh, every time I look at it, I'm just like, oh my god, you are so good looking. And you smell nice as well. Like, it smells like leather. <laughs> I'm just hoping I don't get all these swatches all over the bag because that would be really devastating. It's from Zara. It was £20. It's just a backpack, normal backpack. And I absolutely love it. I have used it once. The only downside to this bag is that when it's windy, this flaps up and it is so annoying and it will like flap up and like stay on your back like this and it's just like why? That is so irritating. I don't want people looking in my bag, I don't want this up, like that is annoying. So what I'm going to do is actually get a little bit of velcro and just stick it down and then hopefully it stays there and then I can start wearing it more. But yeah, so far I love it and it's just a usual style backpack and it's just all open inside there's no inside pockets or anything these are amazing i love these boots and i'll just show you one because holding both up is quite annoying they are just so nice suede boots like chelsea style boots the it's got a little heel but it's not like you know crazy but yeah really nice boots so comfy they're about 40 pounds some people out there that just like to photocopy me and my style so there are a few things in here that you know I might show you I might not but <laughs> savage Vanessa you know because <laughs> anyway um oh my phone keeps going off leave me alone now it is time for Primark yes I have a huge bag and I need to get this going quite quickly so I'm just gonna zoom through it hopefully I do talk a lot so I'm just gonna try and like focus and just get it done. <laughs> the first thing is this, it is pyjamas. They, you buy them separately, but they do go together, if that makes sense. So they're like right next to each other, but you buy them separately. It's these trousers and yeah, they're just like floaty trousers with the cuffed bottoms. I don't remember the price. I think they're probably about six pound because I have worn them because I desperately needed pyjamas so that's why the ticket's not on them and the top is just a basic blue long sleeved top and the reason I got long sleeved is because it is cold at night now so yes but normally I do get short sleeved but for this I did get long sleeve. Oh the next thing I don't know if I want to show because of copyright. <laughs> photocopiers um this shirt i should have done the buttons up i just should have done the buttons up but it's just this nice shirt with the pocket at the front it's so lovely like can you see yeah <laughs> these are both the same but just different colors they are just jogging bottom type things that i wear in the house i got them in this color which is like a dark kind of gray and I also got them in this colour, which is a nice ready burgundy colour, whatever you call it. And they are so soft, they are great for walking around the house in, so they're comfy. And yeah, they're just perfect. They are £6, I believe. Yeah, £6. And I do have a grey pair, which I got last year, and I've worn them to death. And I still wear them, really, even though they're kind of tatty. So I did get two new pairs because of that reason, but also because they are so comfy. Oh, photocopy. <laughs> um, this next item, let me sort it out for you before I start talking. And Okay, it was £13. I'm just going to get out of the way because trying to find the tag sometimes is just irritating. <laughs> but it's this dress. It's a shirt dress, as you can see. And... 
I just really like how it's like a nice dark colour, it's not too bright. And it does come with one of those belts, which could go wrong and not be very nice, but it could also look quite nice. I just have to try it on and see. I think this is the last thing that I have to share with you. Oh my gosh, my arm's stuck. Um, okay, you're probably going to be like, really, it's winter. And also, really, you have so many colours of the same thing. Which, if you've seen my previous haul videos, then that's probably what you're going to think. But I can't help it. They just, they're so good. They go with everything. You can dress them up. You can wear them casually. You can wear them in the summer and the winter. Because, you know, why not? And it's this floaty uh, vest top <laughs> that I have so many of in different colours. But... Yeah, I had to get one. It was £4 as well. I just love this colour. I just think it's so nice. But <laughs> there's not much else I can say about it really, so I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it for this haul video. My battery is like flashing at me right now, so <sighs> I'm glad it's like the end of the video, not like halfway through. If you have any video requests then let me know as well. I have been working a lot recently so it's kind of harder to film videos and get them up as well so I really hope that you don't think that I'm just not bothered or I'm not filming because I really am. I have also got a nice new coat on as well, um, <laughs> we won't mention but I'm in love with it so I had to wear it for this video. <laughs> So thank you for watching the video, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you in my next video.